All right, guys. So I think I'm gonna start uploading every single day. I'm gonna literally do like daily vlogs because since I'm gonna be training six days a week and I'll have only one rest day, maybe I won't film the rest day, but I'm gonna do videos where I'm talking about my training and how I'm going through everything because, as I said, my old motivation for training is like. For some reason it just came back everything just feels so brand new right now you know I, I don't know why i had to go through this whole entire burnout or whatever i told myself like hey i need new goals i need to set new you know everything and the old motivation came back so i told myself as i said let's train six days a week let's i'm a natural lifter and i have to reach my full potential i have to like really set the bar high and I know I can do it. So daily vlogs. Uh, the videos might not be super edited, just like how I used to and make it look cool. But I'll try my best to be very presentable in my videos. And I'm, I'm going to do my best to give you guys a lot of things. Enough talk. Let's go and kill this session, man. I told myself, why don't I just vlog every single day? Because I've been trying to grow this channel for a minute. And I'm a natty lifter, you know? And all these guys, they're taking freaking steroids. I'm not, I'm not gonna shit on any fitness influencers, but we all know when you're taking steroids, you're not gonna grow, right? You're, you're, you're not gonna grow, let's face it. You are like, grow as in your muscles will grow, but how much more can you push it, you know? We're all natties, you know? We, I wanna stay natty. I wanna continue on being a natty and push myself and see how far or how high I can raise the bar, right? And I, I noticed uh, a lot of these influencers, they're on steroids and stuff, juiced up, and they're blowing up on social media. You know, and I, I was just asking myself, like, what example are they setting? What bar are they even raising? Like, what bar are you raising? That's my question, you know, as, a, as a, someone who's taking steroids, what bar are you raising in the fitness community? Me, all natural, I don't even take any supplements. I don't have money to buy supplements, you know? Zero money, I don't have money to buy supplements. I just eat real foods, go to the gym, and train. Today was the second leg day. Yesterday was my official leg day, but today's the following leg day again. Yes, my training, my program is a little, uh, it's a hybrid right now. I'm definitely targeting a lot of my weak muscle groups as well. So today, as I noticed, um, I was training and my quads were burning because yesterday I did heavy squats, a lot of sets, a lot of reps, and then I did RDLs as well. Again, a lot of sets, a lot of sets, a lot of reps. It was heavy RDLs. So today I came in, I did the hack squats, I ended up doing four sets of eight reps, and those were the hardest reps of my life. You know, those are the hardest freaking reps. If you look really closely, you'll see me shaking actually. And I can't even explain, my quads were burning, man. My quads were really burning, guys, you know, but I had to push it, man, I had to push it. I told myself, I'm gonna be training six days a week, and I wanna upload, I wanna upload at least six videos a week. I want you guys to see, I'm gonna upload, I'm gonna do daily vlogs, and I wanna see how my channel does. I want to grow this channel and I want I want people to see my videos now. You know, I want I want the fitness community, the natural lifters out there. I want them to see my videos and I want them to get inspired. I want them to understand that as an Addy lifter, you can do a lot. You can do a lot. You just have to really push it. And, and as I said, I want to raise the bar high. Okay, and I know it's not going to be easy because I'm up against all these guys who are just on, you know, juiced up and stuff. But anyways, um, I started off with the hack squats today. It was really tough. It was rough. It was really rough, but I somehow went through it. Right after that, I hit hip thrust, uh, four sets of 10 reps. Uh, kind of heavy, semi-heavy, not too heavy. And I noticed when I was doing hip thrust, my glutes, my hamstrings were burning. Because yesterday I did a lot of RDLs. I did like high rep RDLs and I was already burning. Today when I did it, it was burning. And also today, I also did some accessory lifts. My accessory lift for the day was the face pulls because I need to grow my rear delts more. My shoulders need to grow a lot more. Another accessory lift I did was forearms. Again, my forearms need to be jacked up. I need my forearms to be big, thick, and juicy. And I also did the good girl, bad girl machine. The training session didn't even last that long. It was like an hour and 15 minutes-ish, you know, including the warm-ups an hour and 20-ish, you know, because I had to do like a proper warm-up because my legs were... My legs were semi sore, and tomorrow, actually, when I come back, I have um, I have chest tomorrow. But again, tomorrow I'm gonna film it. You guys are gonna see what I'm actually about to do, and uh, you guys are gonna see. I'm gonna do some 
where it dips pause. I, I continue doing things that are actually working for me. In terms of muscle hypertrophy, I still keep my rep ranges not only low but also high. I train heavy. You guys can see that I'm, I'm really, really pushing myself. In every single one of my videos, you guys can see I'm freaking pushing myself, you know? But I noticed that my program was mentally exhausting me. The program that I was running for the past uh, eight months, actually, 10 months, it was mentally exhausting me. So I told myself that I need to add more twists. I need to add more flavor to my routine, right? Started training arms, started training forearms, started training more calves, more quads, you know? I started doing different variations of different things. And because I want to stay motivated, and not only that, I want to stay fresh mentally fresh that's the thing you know when you're training you want to be mentally fresh and in this channel i talk a lot about not only training but i give a lot of uh, wisdom in terms of life stuff you guys already know it if you guys have been watching my videos since day one you guys already know because i have a lot to offer to you guys but yeah i was sitting down and i was just thinking all these fitness influencers all of them most of them taking stuff steroids what example were they setting you know what bar are they raising? And uh, again, I'm not trying to shit on any of them, but most of us natural lifters, we, we can't perform like them. Like, you know, they're enhanced. You and I can't perform like that. But we do have an upper hand. If you're natural and you're watching this, you and I, we have an upper hand by being stronger and staying jacked long term. Because our time to shine is not going to come now. When you have like around 12 years of good training under your belt in terms of uh, experience oh that's when the real strength is going to come in you know 10 to 12 years when you have good experience the real strength is going to tap in right there for me five and a half years only i have another five more years left to, you know to really train and get more stronger and as i was saying we're natural we have a longer reach we have more potential you know i don't want you guys to get like discouraged i want to encourage all of you guys to really push it if you want to take steroids and jump on juice that's up to you go ahead i'm, I'm not going to say anything to you i'm not going to devalue you regardless you still have to work hard but at the end of the day what are people going to say right they're still going to look at you and they'll be like oh yeah he's he's on steroids you know yeah you're strong but you're also on steroids you know for me I, I want something that's like you can't even put a finger on me so when someone looks at me I want them to see look at me and look at my body and be like he must be on something but in I don't take nothing right I also want to perform like someone who's taking steroids like I want to be fucking strong right and I want to be jacked so that's why I told myself my training routine I have to optimize it I have to really push it I have to really um switch things around you know i can't really do the same thing over and over again and like that you know I, I should only do the same things when i see that it's actually working if it's not working then that's a whole nother story right there but nine times out of ten man it's working you know right now i'm really motivated my own motivation has it came back this motivation that i feel inside me right now this fire that's burning inside me the same feeling i felt when i first started training when i first even grabbed a camera to make videos on YouTube you know and I've been making videos on YouTube for a minute you know my OG subscribers you guys already can see you guys know it uh, and I'm gonna continue on I'm looking forward to tomorrow's training today I didn't go balls to the walls because I needed my central nervous system to be able to you know handle tomorrow's training as well because again tomorrow as I said I have chest but also last night I only had around five hours of sleep so I didn't really get enough sleep tonight I have to catch up on sleep and tomorrow I have to wake up go to the gym and perform tomorrow's a really important day as well you know but that being said man today's session was great yesterday's session was good tomorrow's session is gonna be even better uh, pro tip log all your weights don't compare yourself to anybody else raise the bar for yourself so you can set a great example to everybody around you with that being said man I'm gonna go home right now finish off the last meal Currently, I'm at around 4,000 calories ish a day, and that's a lot of that's a lot of calories. 4,000 calories for someone like me, it's a lot of calories, man. It's a lot of food, a lot of eating, a lot of fruits as well. And yeah, as I said, 
I'm gonna keep uploading daily vlogs coming through. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's blow this freaking channel up. Let's show these people what us natural lifters can do, you know? I wanna really raise the bar. I know I'm gonna have to push myself really hard. Like, I'm gonna have to really push myself this time, you know? But I know we got this, you know? God bless, we got this. I'll see you guys all tomorrow's video.